Townsville's Hit 103.1. Townsville Dental Centre. Emergency appointments seven days a week. Call 1300 4MIT. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Flake here with your news briefing. An apology has been issued in federal parliament to those who've been bullied, abused and assaulted in its workplace. Here's opposition leader Anthony Albanese thanking those that came forward and spoke as part of the Jenkins report into workplace culture there. To describe your experiences is to relive them. I say to everyone who took part, that took a level of courage that you should never have needed to show. To the COVID front, there's been just over 50 deaths linked to the virus reported nationwide today. Meantime, Queensland's reached its 90% double dose vaccination mark, while the state's health minister, Yvette Darth, says she's optimistic about the international border reopening Feb 21. I know one of the requirements is to be vaccinated, but we'll still see exemptions being good. given, I'm sure, of unvaccinated people as well. But there are also people who arrive and will test positive almost immediately and they will need to quarantine. So that's the benefit of World Camp. While New South Wales Premier Don Perrottet is keen to talk about lifting the cruise ship ban, which has been in place since back in 2020 at this week's National Cabinet meeting. We can assist getting the cruising industry back in the state. We will, but ultimately we'll wait on the federal government. We've had discussions in National Cabinet before. Briefly overseas and the US and Germany say they're ready to act if Russia decides to invade Ukraine. However, American President Joe Biden admits he's desperately hoping for de-escalation. And a pub in the UK which claims to have been running for a thousand years is closing, blaming the pandemic for its financial woes. Introducing the Staria Load, Hyundai's new commercial van that fits in everything. And now it even comes loaded with a $1,000 bonus for ABN holders. Test drive today. Hi there. Jessica Heatley with your local news headlines. More than 35,000 hectares of farmland west of Townsville is set to become a national park to convert the former grazing property. Townsville's Gillian Copper has been shortlisted as a finalist for this year's Mining Awards for Women. She's in the running for the Exceptional Young Woman category while working at the Cannington Mine. And two of Australia's best restaurants are right here on our doorstep. The Bridgewater Restaurant and Cuba and the Touch of Salt is Mostly sunny and 31 in Townsville for the rest of today, down to 23 degrees tonight. Tomorrow mostly sunny and 32 degrees. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now.